Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Save Roses. In today's video, we will be discussing about the batch payments in Odoo 17 accounting module. So batch payment is basically used for grouping large number of payments into a single transaction and, and this is one of the most powerful tool which streamlines the accounting process. So when you want to group a large number of customer invoices and vendables, you can simply manage it with the batch payments in Odoo 17 accounting module. So there are two primary batch payments in Odoo 17. That is the inbound batch payment as well as the outbound batch payment. So inbound batch payment is basically used for grouping or uh, to manage large payments of customer invoices. It can be in form of cash, checks or electronic transfers. And the outbound batch payment is basically used for grouping large number of vendables. So it can be uh, a bulk of electronic payments or like a bulk of vendables. So would you like to know how this is set up in Odoo 17 accounting module? So kindly watch the video to know more regarding what is batch payment in Odoo 17 accounting module. To manage with the batch payment, let's dive into the accounting module and under the configuration settings, we just need to enable this feature first. So as you just drag down here, you can find the customer payment and here we have a feature called batch payments This let you to group payments into a single batch to ease the reconciliation process. So once you have changed or made the changes in the configuration settings, now the next step is to check the customer invoices or vendables because we know that we can either make a batch for customer invoices as well as for vendables. So as you just enable this feature, you can find the batch payment under the customer menu as well as under the vendor menu. Now let's move on to the customer invoices because first we're just going to deal with the batching of the customer invoices. So here you can find different payments uh, or the customer invoices which are in its uh, paid state as well as in in payment state. Now let, let me create a new invoice over here and let's fill out the details of the customer over here. So the customer is Azure Interior and you can also fill out the details of the product which is Corner Desk writes it and let's confirm the invoice. So as we just confirm the invoice here you can see that the invoice has moved from its track state to the posted state. Now the next step is to make the payment. So in order to make the payment we have to click on register payment. And here you can see the journal is set as bank and you can also find the amount, payment date as well as memo. So under the memo field here we can find the reference number of the invoice and we have a field called payment method. So under the payment method we have different options such as manual as well as batch payment. So as we just set the payment as method as manual, so whenever you just try to create the batch payments, uh, the payments which are with the payment method as manual will be grouped into one batch and the payment method with batch deposit will be grouped into another batch. So for the time being, I'll be choosing the payment method as uh, manual and let's click on create payment. And currently you can see that this invoice is under in payment state. Now let's move on to the batch payment and under the batch payment, as we don't have an unreconciled batches over here, the screens displays nothing over here. And as you just remove the filter, you can find the batch payments that are reconciled. Along with its reference number, the bank that is used, as well as the date, the amount, as well as the state. Now let's see how can we create a new batch payment. To create a new batch payment, you can just click on new button, where you can see the batch type is set to inbound. So we know there are two primary batch types that is inbound and outbound. Under the inbound, we can just group the customer invoices. And here you can also find the date of this batch as well as you can also choose a bank. So let me choose a bank over here and you can also choose a payment method. As I just choose a payment method as manual, under the batch content, we can only choose the invoices which are having the payment method as manual. So let me choose uh, the batch content over here. So you can just click on add a line and under the add a line, we can find the payments over here. So you can just add the payments that you want to make it batch. So for the time being, I just need to make reconciliation with all these payments. So here you can just click on select so that that will be 
add it under the patch content. Now here you can see the total amount is displayed over here as 377.40. As you just save this, customer batch payments, the reference number will be auto-populated under the reference field. Now we just need to consider this reference number so that we can just make the reconciliation process because under the uh, creation of the bank statement, we just need to set the label. So under that field, we will be setting the reference number as the label. And now we just need to send this customer batch payment into the bank. So in order to do so, you can just click on validate button. And here you can see that this batch has moved from its new state into send state. Now let's see how can we just manage with the reconciliation process. Now to manage with the reconciliation process, you can just move on to the dashboard and under that you can find the bank. You choose the bank and we just need to create a statement in order to do the reconciliation. So let me create a new statement over here to do the transaction and here you can find the date over here as well as you can also set the label and uh, we can also set the uh, amount over here. So here we can also find uh, uh, the batch payments that is created. So under the batch payment here you can see the reference number along with its amount and all. So let's create the statement for this. So here the amount is set to 377.40 and you can also set the label. So here we have to set the label as the reference number of the batch. Later on, you can save and close this. Now, as we just need to make the reconciliation process, you can just choose a statement and choose the patch over here. So you, here you can see, we can just do the reconciliation. To manage with the reconciliation process, you can just click on validate button. So that currently it's reconciled. And now let's move on to the customer batch payments. And here you can see that we have successfully reconciled the batch. So as you just remove the filter, you can see that this batch has moved into reconciled state. And under the customer invoices, you would be able to find that it has moved to the paid state. Now still, we have a few invoices which are in in payment state. Now let's again uh, batch those customer invoices and make reconciliation process. In order to do so, you can just move on to the customer menu and choose batch payments. And let's click on new again and we can just set the bank over here. And let me choose a batch content. So uh, here you can see the batch contents. No records are found over here. And uh, uh, because the payment method is set to manual. So we can just set the payment method as batch deposit. And as you just set the payment method as batch deposit and click on add a line, you can see the payments which are having the payment method as batch deposit. So, you know, a batch will have multiple payments. So, you can just use these multiple payments in order to complete the reconciliation process. So, let me select all these payments in order to make it as a batch and let me save this. So once I have saved this, the next step is to consider the reference number. So I'll be considering that reference number over here. And let's send this customer batch into the back. So you can just click on validate button and currently it's been moved from the new state into the send state. Now we can just consider the same step in order to do the reconciliation process. You can just move into the batch, I mean into the back. And we just need to consider the batch over here. And as we just create a batch, there you can find the batch under the batch payments tab. And uh, we can just create a new statement where you can set the label as a reference number of the batch, as well as you can also set the amount. So the amount is 76,200 over there. And you can save and close this. And we're going to repeat the same step, which means select the statement and choose the bank. Uh, I mean batch payment and you can just click on validate button so that the reconciliation will be 10 over there. So as you just move on to the customer, uh, yeah, customers tab and choose batch payments. Here we have 10 with the reconciliation for 
the batch with the payment method as bank deposit and as you just move on to the customer invoices and you would be able to find that we have made the payment and the uh, payment state is set set to paid so this is how we, we just manage with the batch payments for customer invoices now let's see how the batch payment is done for winter bills so you can just dive into the winter menu and choose the uh, winter bills first and here you can see few of the bills are in its payment state so even if we are just managing with the batch payments for winter bills we have the payment method as manual checks and all so uh, we can just group them into each of the batch so the payment methods with uh, the type as uh, manual will be grouped under one batch and uh, the payment method as checks will be grouped into another batch so in order to do so you can repeat the same steps that we just followed for batching the customer invoices so let's move on to the uh, batch payment and let me just make a batch over there so here you can see we have made a batch uh, i mean uh, we can just make a new batch and here you can find a batch which is in its unreconciled form and i want to just create a new batch and here you can find that the batch type is set to outbound so from this we can conclude that if the batch type is outbound then we can only just batch or make a batch for winterbills now you can just choose the bank which is bank itself and you can choose the payment method as manual and here you can also find the other payment methods such as check and all so now we will be only dealing with the payment method uh, with manual for the vendor batch payments afterwards you can just fill out the batch content so here you can see we can just fill the batch content with the payments that are available over here so i just need to add these payments into my batch and you can find the amount is set to negative this is because as we are just dealing with the winter bills the amount is just moving out of the bank so that we can just mark these amounts as the expenses so the expenses will be marked as negative so here you can see the amount as well as the total amount is indicated in negative now you can just select this uh, batch content that is the payments under the batch content and we can just send the item or that is the uh, sending of the winter batch payments to the bank so uh, you can just click on validate button so that this batch will be sending into the bank and now we just need to consider the reference number so the reference number is uh, um, just given over here and you can also find the total over here now let's create the statement to manage with the reconciliation process because we are just gonna uh, reconcile the statements against the batch payment so under the dashboard you can just choose a bank and as we just validated that batch here you can also find the batch that is sent and here you can also find the amount and we just need to create a new statement so i'll be creating the new statement by setting the reference number as a label and as the amount also so while setting the amount you also just need to keep in mind that we have to provide the negative number over here now let's set 960 and you can just save and close this so afterwards you can just choose a statement and you can also choose the batch and here you can just click on validate button so that we can just complete with the reconciliation process now let me move on to the winter menu and let me choose the batch payments and here you can see that currently we have just reconciled the batch and it has moved into the reconciled state now under the winter bills you can also see that we have just made the payment and it has moved to the paid state so it's very easy to manage the batch payment in Odoo 17 accounting and to try this with this feature by effectively utilizing the batch payments you can streamline your accounting process so i hope this video clarifies how to manage the batch payments in odoo 17 accounting module and if you want odoo customizations or odoo tutorial videos feel free to contact type as always stay awesome and thank you for watching the video